بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز پریزنٹیشن از کانٹیکٹ لینزز بیسکلی کانٹیکٹ لینزز آر یوز ایز آلٹرنیٹ ٹو اسپیکٹ ایز این آلٹرنیٹو ٹو اسپیکٹیکلس بیکاز بٹ بفور دیٹ وی اسٹارٹ آف ود اسپیسیفک لرننگ آؤٹ کمس بائی دی اینڈ آف دس پریزنٹیشن دی آڈینس ول بی ایبل ٹو ڈسکرائب دا یوزز آف کانٹیکٹ لینزز انڈرسٹینڈ دا جیومیٹری آف کانٹیکٹ لینزز ڈسکرائب دا رول آف کانٹیکٹ لینزز این یوٹیلائزنگ دی کانیل ایسٹگمیٹزم ڈسکرائب دا یوز آف سافٹ اینڈ ہارڈ کانٹیکٹ لینزز این دیئر لمیٹیشنز and differentiate between spectacles and the contact lenses. So, to begin with, introduction. Basically, contact lenses are used because of the fact that they are uh, considered as alternate to spectacles because a lot of patients come in OPDs and in general practice that they usually deem spectacles as uncomfortable or cosmetically very unattractive. So, you know, for, for that purpose, for co cosmetically being attractive and for different reasons, they use these contact lenses and in some uh, occupations like in some sports there is a chance for these spectacles to break down they may fog up they may break so you know for some occupations contact lenses are ideal and uh, they are optically superior to spectacles in some cases which i'll be discussing later uh, and they also reduce or eliminate the aberration associated with spectacles used to correct these high refractive errors This is a picture of uh, contact lens and uh, I'm sure we all have an idea about just a recap. Uh, now the coming to the uses of contact lenses. Basically contact lenses are also used therapeutically and diagnostically and also during surgery to view the fundus as well as uh, trabecular meshwork. Any idea of any non-refracting use of contact lenses that we usually use? Bandage contact lens, yes that's a very common use of bandage contact lens. It's basically uh, used as uh, therapeutically for ocular surface disorders and to protect and promote healing and to relieve pain. The other, uh, another use of con bandage contact lenses in the surface ablation procedures like LASIK, PRK, trans PRK, bandage contact lenses are routinely applied to patient size to encourage uh, repetalization and healing and to reduce discomfort and pain. Now, uh, a very important part is uh, the geometry of the contact lenses. Basically, the refracting power of these contact lenses depends on three things. It is dependent on the anterior and posterior curvatures, its thickness and the refracting index. And a contact lens is described as spherical when it has the same radius of curvature in each meridian. So, cylindrical refractive errors may be corrected by contact lenses in which the front surface, back surface or both are toric. Now, this is the... Uh, a picture showing the geometry of this contact lenses if you can see here this is the anterior and the posterior curvature that, that i was talking about and the thickness of the lens the thickness of the contact lens is also an important part of uh, as to how much will be the refracting power of this lens so this is the base curve this is the uh, reverse curve and if you can see here in this photograph this this is this is the uh, the planes that are highlighting this this portion this is the base curve and this is the posterior portion of this base curve that is i'll discuss later which is known as the posterior central curvature which usually is most important in um, deciding the refracting power of the optical lens this is the alignment curve one the alignment curve two as well as the base curve radius this is the base curve radius which i'm just going to discuss in uh, in the later slides Now, what is PCC? The posterior surface of the optical zone uh, is known as the posterior central curvature, which is also known as the base curve. So, it has it can be measured in two diameter uh, parameters. The one can be it, it, its radius can be measured in millimeters, or its optic power in air. So, the shape of this posterior surface curvature of a contact lens should conform cl closely to the a aspheric surface of the cornea, so that it would closely fit and it could achieve best optical results. And now the process of blending. Uh, an aspheric shape may be created by encircling the optical zone with one or two concentric zones of increasing radius of curvature to produce a bicurve or tricurve contact lenses. The junctions between the zones are made smooth by a process called blending. So the base curve and the diameter of the contact lens determine how the tightly lens binds to the cornea and, it, and how easily it moves with each blink. 
usually the corne the cor cor corneal contact lenses usually have a smaller diameter than the cornea on which they are supported and uh, we all know that the corneal surface is oxygenated by the tf film and usually corneal contact lenses are made of gas impermeable substances and may contain slots grooves or fenestrations so as to facilitate the circulation of ts behind the lens now uh, corneal contact lenses can be used to correct uh, high refractive errors but there's a problem associated with these uh, lenses because of the fact that usually they have greater thickness and greater weight so patients usually deem it very uncomfortable to hold the lens in the eye and the tendency of the upper eyelid to grip this uh, thick upper edge of a high power uh, high power minus concave lens and cause it to ride high is countered by a peripheral bevel the weight of this high power convex lens that causes it to drop to a low position can be countered by a minus peripheral carrier portion which tends to be lifted by the upper lid now uh, another important concept is the tl lens and the astigmatism the refractive index of the uh, pre corneal tl film is around 1.333 and it almost equals that of the cornea so optically the tl film neutralizes the corneal surface irregularity and refractive power of this corneal surface is effectively that of the tl film interface so the tl film between the posterior surface of the corneal contact lens and the anterior surface of the cornea is known as the tl lens if it has uniform thickness it has plano power and uh, a steeper base curve that is a more vaulted contact lens means that the increase in axial length of the tl lens to make it more strongly positive and the converse makes it more negative uh, uh, the tl lens allows the spherical contact lens to neutralize corneal astigmatism and uh, this the base curve that i recently talked about in the previous slides was the base curve of the contact lens should be the same as the corneal surface curvature in the flattest meridian so that where is the corneal is steeper the tl lens is thicker and it neutralizes the astigmatism an important part of uh, the corneal contact lens is to neutralize the astigmatism so now about the soft and rigid contact lenses basically rigid contact lenses usually neutralize corneal astigmatism up to uh, larger degrees but in so whereas talking about the soft contact lenses they usually neutralize corneal astigmatism around 1 to 2 diopters so the corneal astigmatism of of more than 1.5 to 2 diopters is an, is a limitation to the use of soft contact lenses astigmatism arising from the crystalline lens or an uh, implanted intraocular lens will only be neutralized by a front surface toric contact lens now an important part of the discussion is about the difference between contact lenses and the spectacles we must have uh, heard about the discussion between as to what is better spectacles or contact lenses so basically optic i i must say that corneal contact lenses do usually hold uh, usually hold much importance as far as uh, uh, in superiority to spectacles because they reduce the optical aberrations they usually have uh, 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 they usually increase the field of view in hypermetropic patients we'll be discussing later Uh, a contact lens moves with the eye and therefore allows good vision in all positions of gaze the distortions which occur when looking through the periphery of the spectacle lens do not occur so this is a major difference that the uh, distortions which occur when looking through these uh, spectacles they usually do not occur in corneal contact lenses and when the pupil is dilated a rigid contact lens may cause a halo effect because of refraction through the peripheral zone of the lens or adjacent tf film now any idea as to uh, what is the difference between hypermetro uh, if we apply a contact lens in hypermetropic patient how will the field of view increase or decrease hmm? either it will increase or it will decrease it will increase yes so in increase yes so the point here that i'm trying trying to say is that uh, in hypermetropia usually the hypermetropic patients have a prismatic effect towards the periphery so their field of vision is reduced so if we usually give uh, because they are using plus lenses and in plus lenses image is usually magnified so the fact is that since the image is magnified their field of view is reduced so when we give corneal contact lenses in hypermetropic patients their field of view is increased and that's very helpful to, to these uh, hypermetropic patients because the lens uh, now hyper reduce their field of view by wearing spectacles because the lens periphery has a prismatic effect With the with the base towards the visual axis, and when they change to contact lenses, they not need to move their eyes so far to see the same overall field of view. So their field of view increases, whereas the opposite happens in case of myopic patients. In myopia, what happens is when they change from spectacles to contact lenses, their field of view decreases because 
they usually do not encounter much of the prismatic effect as compared to the hypermetropic patients. So the opposite applies to myopic patients whose spectacles increase the field of view because of a prismatic effect with the base away from the visual axis. And in uh, moving from spectacles to contact lenses, what happens is image magnification and improved uh, visual equity for myopic, whereas there's image minification for hypermetropic patients. This, uh, this phenomena because of the fact that image is minified, but the field of view is increased. So these two things must be kept in mind that although image is minified for hypermetropic patients, but their field of view is increased and image is magnified, but their all visual equity although is improved, but their field of view tends to decrease. So optical aberration, as I just mentioned earlier, that correct corneal contact lens fitting ensures that the lens remains almost centered in all positions of gaze and that on blinking any lens movement is not excessive. So basically it minimizes the oblique aberration which occurs looking through non-axial portion of the lens and allows good visual equity in peripheral gaze. So basically the optical aberrations which occur with spectacles, they are reduced when using contact lenses. Now another important part is uh, of the discussion is the combination and conver convergence in uh, while using corneal contact lens. Basically spectacle lenses which are centered for distance vision they usually induce a prismatic effect when their eyes are focused for convergence and in near vision. So no such effect occurs with contact lenses which remain centered and uh, again coming to another point myopic spectacles usually have a base in prismatic effect which reduces the amount of convergence and accommodation for near. So myopic spectacles usually have a prismatic effect which allows them to have a greater convergence and accommodation for near vision. So if they are advised, if they are given corneal contact lenses, they usually need to apply more accommodation and convergence as compared to using spectacles. So usually they use, have strain in their eyes and headache. They usually feel uncomfortable by using corneal contact lens. So spectacles are basically ideal for myopic patients. Just to give an idea, this is the spectacle myopic spectacle basin effect. The visual axis is directed toward B while the patient is looking at an air object A. So usually they have this basin effect, prismatic basin effect. So a change to contact lenses therefore demands greater convergence and accommodation which may cause eye strain in pest biopic myopes. So the usual un unequal prismatic effect of anisometropic spectacles is eliminated by contact lenses. I hope you get the point that myopics already have a good accommodation convergence with the spectacles. So if you know a change to contact lenses will therefore cause greater eye strain and which usually is this cause of eye strain and uncomfortable patient, uh, uncomfortable. Now the prisms. It is possible to incorporate up to three diopters of uh, prism power into a corneal contact lens without making it too thick to be practical. The weight of the prism rotates the contact lens so that the prism is always based down. So this makes a horizontal prismatic correction impossible and limits the prism to one lens only. Uh, now uh, the tint, the con con contact lenses may incorporate a slight blue tint to make them more visible for easier handling and retrieval. They may also have a deeper green, blue or brown tint sparing the center to make the iris uh, appear a different color. This is, you usually have uh, seen uh, contact lenses with different colors. This is, a, this is a blue. So basically we use it for cosmetic reasons and they may come in different colors, blue, green, so that to give iris a different color. Thank you. So excellent presentation. Uh, contact lenses are difficult subject. You see, practically, uh, the most frequently used is in young ladies who don't want to have spectacles. So, uh, but uh, equally important are the uses in infants uh, where it is difficult to put on the glasses. You see, uh, there is an infant aphakia study. So, they were studying whether the cataract operated infant should have spectacles or contact lenses. So uh, from one to two years of age, which option is better? Contact lenses or the uh, uh, intraocular lens? And they followed the patient and they found that the VN is equal if you implant intraocular lens or you put the patient on contact lenses and 
uh, but complications are more in the pseudophagy group. So there is no concept of spectacles in the infants. Right? So in our setup, because the contact lens practice is not yet established, so we advise spectacles to such patients. And because of many uh, problems with the spectacles, the patients develop amblyopia. And there is more tendency of squint. And so uh, we should have more uh, vigorous practice of advising contact lenses in this age group. Similarly, uh, another use of contact lens, especially the hard contact lens, is in keratoconus. See, when there is a cone, uh, the soft co contact lens will not be very useful. The hard one will flatten the cone and patient will have a better VN for some time. Uh, before the cone becomes unmanageable and then you have to go for keratoplasty. But a few years, uh, the for a few years, patient can have a better uh, sort of VN with hard contact lenses. So these are practical uses of contact lenses and you also have described uh, the cosmetic contact lenses. Uh, sir. Uh, describing contact lenses for refractive virus. You know we do refraction in spectacle. Okay. When the contact lenses are used, they are Back vertex distance which they are applied on the contact. Mm. So we have to alter the power accordingly. Mm. Yeah, there are uh, nomograms which are available. So in case of myopia, what will you do when the contact lens is uh, placed on the cornea? We will increase the power or decrease the power? Decrease. Decrease. Decrease the power. Decrease. 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 In myopia. How? Myopia means, I mean, for example, five doctors take lens and myopia means that they also go about contact lens in a child. Okay, so it will be displaced so that the doctors, so within uh, the same power. So you have to, a power, but I need contact lens in a clear, yeah, increase it. Some settings, decrease it, decrease it, decrease it, yes. So myopia means, can I take power, for example, other options. Three per contact lens, three power per contact lens, three 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 Hard contact lens is already in catacombs, otherwise it normally comes out. Oh, material, what are the various materials of... Uh, so plastic and PMM. So PMM is on. Yeah. 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 So silicone, it's not good, it's a gas permeable or a hard contact lens. So soft contact lens is gas permeable. Mm -hmm. Because they can allow the oxidization of the... So there are various types. Go up there. You have to make a search. These various contact lenses can be used to come to your software. Okay, so what are the complications? Sir, what should edema, coronary edema, keratitis, and what should we do? Abhinay, you have to write the complications. So you have to write the complications. Now that the infection is more severe, this is why patient education is very important. So, hygiene is very important, especially the males and especially the contact lenses. Yes, sir. So, we will be able to do the same thing. We will be able to do the same thing. We will be able to do the same thing. We will be able to do the same thing. So, that they do not get injured in the patient. Contact lights जो है और ऐसे overnight usage का भी आ गया वो भी वो extended भी है अब ये आ गया ना कुछ जो daily wear वाले कुछ extended भी है तो उसको usually वो ये कहा जाता है कि जो daily wear है उनको बिल्कुल 
पर एक्सटेंडेड वेयर भी है उसको एज अ डेली वेयर यूज करना चाहते हैं ठीक है अदरवाइज वो मिस बिट हो या प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है तो ये आप हल कर सकते हैं सो कांटेक्ट लेंस यूजुअली हम प्रिस्क्राइब करते हैं दैट इज नॉट मेंट फॉर अ पेशेंट बट वी मस्ट नो सो दैट व्हेन द पेशेंट कम टू यू विद सम प्रॉब्लम्स तो मस्ट है अच्छा बेटर कांटेक्ट लेंस भी जो है ना वो आप अप्लाई करते हैं लेकिन सम टाइम्स इन केसेस ऑफ कॉर्नियल अल्सर्स जो स्टेरल अल्सर है वो भी और सम टाइम्स दे अलाउ टू सुनो बना से रख सब चाहिए बट आई थिंक तो आप अगर किसी को प्रेस्क्राइब करते हैं तो उसको फ्रीक्वेंटली एग्जामिन करें बैंडेज कॉन्टेक्ट लेंस आपने दिया है एवरी टू थ्री डेज या हास्ट पे जब भी आपकी डेट हो तो बिकॉज सम टाइम से इन्फेक्शन वर्स हो सर कॉन्टेक्ट लेंस में जिस तरह सर ने बताया जो माइनस का लेंस जो है जब आई से वेन द माइनस लेंस मूव अवे फ्रॉम द आई इट्स पार डिक्रीजेस एंड द प्लस लेंस वेन इट मूव अवे फ्रॉम द आई इट इट्स पार इंक्रीज सी सो इन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव ए फेकेक लेंजेस लेट से प्लस टेन वी गिव इन स्पेक्टिकल्स it has moved out so it is more powerful but if you will apply a contact lens it will be it will have to be of more power opposite is true for um, concave lenses if you give up to let's say minus 3 i think uh, spectacle and contact lenses have the same power for one or two diopter prescription the contact lens and the glasses will have the same power but three and beyond the contact lens will have to be under corrected mine instead of minus 3 spectacle correction the contact lens may be 0.5 or something like that under, under. under. so the power of the contact lens will decrease uh if you wear contact lenses for prolonged period of time the corneal curvature changes so this is called and yahan pe alamas come in what is what is warping so warping is the word for we use for the change of curvature of cornea because of the contact lens so that's why we advise the patient not to wear the contact lenses Uh, a few days before we want to do refraction so the cornea comes to uh, uh, to uh, its normal shape so uh, come um, yesterday a patient came to me young girl 16 year old and she was having severe lid edema and photophobia was moving with uh, closed eyes and she had a uh, history of uh, contact lens wearing so sometimes it may be associated with allergy or sometimes it is uh, associated with trauma on the cornea while inserting or removing the contact lenses so we have to put a drop of let's say alkane Uh, to RSI and then we see the patient opens the eye after topical anesthesia and we are able to examine the cornea we see whether there is staining or not the ulcer or not so um, these uh, incidences occur very frequently with the contact lens view another thing is that after a few months there are deposits on the cor- uh, contact lens like protein and calcium deposits and we have to change them let's say after 4 5 months or 6 months usage the patient is advised new contact lenses uh, for children uh, usually in the western world the nurses are trained for that they put on the lens and then they teach the uh, infant's mother how to change the contact lens so they have a very good service and that's why uh, amblyopia does not occur 
after the cataract operation. These contacts have to be stored in, in a solution. They never have to be touched by once they are dried up, they go across the venture and uh, so that solution may and the container sometimes they are the source of infection. So they have to be frequently changed. And sometimes it's uh, the solution it causes allergic reactions. Mm -hmm. So it has to be changed and uh, preservative free if possible then that should be used. Uh, can amoeba keratitis and all the infections, corneal infections are more common in the contact lens wearers? You see, because of the two reasons. One, the contact lens acts as a foreign body. So, it uh, sort of generates uh, reactions in the eye. right? And uh, secondly, it also induces trauma when the patient removes it or when the patient puts it. So, these factors may make the cornea more liable to develop infections. So, we have to be vigilant whether there is a corneal ulcer or element of keratitis. We have to do uh, energetic treatment with antibiotics so that the ulcer... See, many a times we do not stain and we miss the ulcer. So, in every case where the patient presents with photophobia and pain and swelling, should do corneal staining with fluorescein dye so that if there is any ulcer, we pick it up at early stage and start treating it. Even a micro uh, abrasion. Abrasion also. Uh, it is important that whenever there is a case of uh, contact lens induced keratitis, so you need to culture the contact lens as well as the, uh, the cases. Mm -hmm. They are sent for the culture. In addition to the corneal scraping, I will to operate the culture. In addition to these two, are also sent for culture. You mentioned the base curve. So the base curve, chota ho jayega, tightness fit ho jayegi to kya complication hai? Pehle pata kaise lagega ki tightness fit hai ya loose fit hai? So the book ko fit kare na wo matlab ko iske liye fit fit lage na wo fit more into fit to kine na wo loose hai fit kya hoga? So sir, the book mein kya hoga? Stick nahi kare, slip up directly ho jayega. Movement kare, movement kare. Itni movement hai na wo less than one inch. Usko beach play. अगर वो बिल्कुल ही मूव नहीं करा इसमें तो टाइट फिट हो गया और अगर वो बहुत टाइट फिट है तो फिर क्या कॉम्प्लिकेशन है अच्छा मतलब वो कॉम्प्लिकेशन तो एक वन टाइप है ना वो कॉम्प्लिकेशन केस के अंदर स्टेबिलिटी और हाई कॉन्टैक्ट लेंस होती है उसके इसकी में क्या रहता है इस कॉम्प्लिकेशन के इसकी जो of which base curve you should apply the contact lens, how you measure the base curve. How much is the cornea curved? How do you come to know? K reading, keratometry or any other instrument for? Topography, uh, G-scan or uh, any other? NTA segment OCT that can all so you come you have, should know what is the curve of the cornea where you are going to apply the contact lens then you examine the fitting how do you come to know whether it is tight fit or loose fit whether the curve is more you apply a drop of fluorescein so if it is a tight fit they will not be fluorescein between the contact lens and the cornea. But if it is a loose one, there will be concentration of the fluorescein dye. So fluorescein dye also helps you to tell 
whether uh, the curve of the contact lens is more or less than the corneal curvature. Bandage contact lens is a lagao of the fluorescent cancer. Yes, sir, banana, banana. Bandage contact lens is a lagao. Fluorescent lens is a so so while the contact lens is on the cornea, post. This is the you can watch it, then apply it. Okay, but if you put it while it is on, so see staining. So you see, um, uh, there is a misconception that uh, a few patients are referred to me where the cornea has perforated and uh, was there, uh, uh, a, pers- a doctor would sort of request that, okay, apply the bandage contact. You see, bandage contact lens uh, supports the cornea and is useful in impending corneal perforation, where the cornea is thin and is liable to uh, rupture. But once the perforation has occurred, the contact lens cannot sort of reform the anterior chamber by plugging the hole. You have to do something else. So many I uh, have seen a few cases in uh, England uh, where they applied cyanoacrylate glue and then applied the contact lens. The contact lens is applied in many circumstances. For example, a few people apply it after pterygia maxian, after PRK as you have told you when there is surface irregularity just to give a smooth appearance to the cornea, the contact lens can be applied. So, uh, in impending corneal perforation, yes, it has a role, but if the cornea has perforated, then it's not very useful. Um, it's also a sort of alternative to tarsorephy. You see, in, in, in impending perf- corneal perforation, we used to do tarsorephy. So, you can combine both, put a contact lens and then apply uh, tarsorephy for a few days. And, uh, but if it is infective, the corneal uh, pathology, then antibiotics should all we should keep on instilling the antibiotics. So antibiotics uh, can perform their function even in the presence of contact lens. So, you put up a contact lens and uh, prescribe one hourly antibiotics, it will work. Any point? Any question? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much.